Hey there, YouTubers. Thanks for tuning back in. It's Dan Strong with Excel VBA. It's fun. This is part two on our user form buttons series. We're going to talk about how to make user form buttons look a lot prettier. In this case, we have three buttons now. We This is the original button. If I type in my name and click on this button with the little trash can symbol on it, it's going to pop whatever you type in this text box in cells A1 through F10. Really useless macro, but it's just for putting this button on here. So we're going to edit the button a little bit. We're going to talk about uh, in this thing, uh, in this lesson yesterday we talked about um, putting an image in there, the best practice to make it not look pixelated, make it not look ugly. Um, and today we're going to talk about uh, how to put um, how to make a button that has not only an image on the left or right, but also text within the same button, so it kind of describes what the button is. So we're going to put like a save and a delete thing on there. I'm going to zo scooch it this way, and we don't. Here's what we don't want it to do. See what just happened right there? We don't want it to go. Ooh, it's getting all squished out. Um, so I'm going to type in something in the caption down here. I'm going to type trash can. Okay, you see what happened? Nothing. Here's why this happens, okay? We have this giant image, right? The image is just way too big. So as I keep expanding this, the image is expanding as well. And that's a problem. So the image file is way too big and it's going to keep on growing. See that now the word trash can shows up now that the image is finally fully displayed. So what's the solution? You've got to, and by the way, doesn't that image look so nice? That's because it's not a JPEG or, a, or an icon file. The, the GIF files, for some reason, GIF files, just look gorgeous on a user form. They don't have this white stuff in the background. They don't have pixelated stuff. Anyway, that's a side note. Here's what you need to do. When you go to Let's see, when you go to images.google.com, um, here's what you need to, you need to find a small one. So let's find a save button. So we want to find the save icon, but we don't want a giant one. You want a tiny one so it'll fit on the button and still fit words in. So you want a really small one like 16 by 16, 32 by 32, something like that. Let's go to search tools. We want to go to size and we want to go to icon, meaning give me the smallest things you got. Here's one over here. If you can see this, I like this one too. Let's click on that. I'm going to right click and go to save image as. Oh, it's a PNG. I can't use that. All right, I'm going to skip all this stuff. I'm going to go to iconizer.net, which is amazing. I'm going to go to save. I want to find a save button, but I want to find a small one. So, um, this looks pretty decent. I'm trying to find a really small one. Here's, here's a good one. See this one right here? It's like a 16 by 16, maybe. Let's click on that. Yes, I want a GIF. Yes, I want to download it. Bam, it's downloaded. Oh, that's amazing. It's amazing. Save underscore 16. Remember that. So we'll go back to my Visual Basic Editor and we'll go to this button here. And we're going to go down to Picture and we're going to find Save underscore 16. Here it is. Dot GIF. Remember, GIF files are amazing. All right. So see how small that is? Now, if I go ahead and squish this down to size. Oops. So I'm going to align this with that. And so something's what I need to do is look at the way this is arranged cuz it's trying to be directly over it no matter what I do. Okay. So let's look at the okay, the picture position is FM picture position above center and I want it to be left center. So there we go, trash can. That looks a lot better. Now I don't want them smushed like that, so I'm going to try to hit the space bar a couple times. Maybe just one trash can. And I'll make it like this. So maybe align all these buttons. So there's your trash can, and now I just want that to say save actually. Space, S-A-V-E. Squish it a little bit. See, doesn't that look like pretty good? You could maybe stand to get a 32 by 32 instead of a 16 there. And then we'll do the same thing for um, our... Let's put one here that's... Uh, 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 
like an exit sign or something and we'll make that close the user form okay let's do that really quick here let's do exit on remember icon icon i c o n i z e r dot net it's the best free website out there it has just blown my mind let's use this one application exit sign no 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 i like this one better actually let's make this one a gif the, the best thing about this website is that uh... oops i don't like that black and white i want to keep the colors yes i want to keep the colors as it is so i'll download that it'll be exit number one copy one okay uh, i'm gonna make this uh... Oh, you know, I think I did the black and white for the other ones, too. That's why I don't look so good. Anyway, um, so go to picture. It'll be exit 1, E-X-I-T. Copy 1. Hit open. See, look, look how beautiful that button is. It's gorgeous. All right, so uh, let's type exit. And then we need to make sure that the... We don't want a picture position above center, we want it uh, left center. And let's see here. Now, what's the matter? Okay, that's interesting. E X I T. Why is the. Uh, What's going on here? This thing's being squirrely. Button text. Okay, well, there it is. Okay, it's just acting, it was like glitching out on me or something. So, uh, anyway, there's our exit button. Might make that just a little bit more spacious and put another space there or something. Anyway, we've got a save and an exit. Again, you can get a better, but I mean, Let's do this. Exit. We'll just uh, we'll say me dot hide. That'll hide the uh, user form. And then the save. Let's just do application dot save. Uh, well, that might not be right. This workbook dot save. Yeah. Let's just do this workbook dot save. Okay. So. Uh, actually, I'd better save this really quick. This workbook will be available for download. Check my uh, Dropbox or link in the description of this video. I'm going to make it so that it's available to you to download and play with right immediately, right now. So just click on there and go to my Excel VBA's Fun Shared Workbooks, and you can download a copy of this. I'm going to call this workbook um, User Form buttons with pictures so look for that workbook you can download it right now I'm saving it immediately those who are subscribed to that Dropbox folder you just got that instantly uh, plastered in your uh, folder on your computer for those of you who are new uh, sign up for Dropbox it's a free it's amazing anyway uh, so that's our new buttons let's do uh, this one first Nancy, let's click there on the trash can button. For some reason, I don't know why I did that, but let's do save. Remember, that's that saves the whole workbook. So click on that. That just saved my workbook. And then let's do exit. That hides the user form. Okay, we got some classy looking buttons. Now, if I had done those with color, they would look classier. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. God bless. <laughs>